everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my month of June's favourite makeup slash skincare. It's all over the shop. This is probably my first favourite my first favourites video I've ever done, so let's just jump straight into it. Okay, let's start off with hair care, skincare, and then we'll move to makeup last. Gonna reel you into the end. Alrighty, so since I've been going lighter with my hair, I've killed it a lot and I've been into the moisture, everything. I've tried to just keep it healthy as I can and it's hard to believe, I'm just looking in the viewfinder, like I don't know if you guys can see this shine. I've had a little bit, there's still some orangey bits, but I, I was black and like if you watch my earlier videos, I've been black and now I'm like slowly getting blonder. Yay. Right. I've been using a toner shampoo because I've been getting my hair done every six weeks or four weeks, depending on how healthy it's been. And it's been quite good. Like the ends, you can tell where the band of box dye is and it's around here. Like you can tell when I lean back, see this, this is all box dye and this is all my regrowth slash good hair that never got box dyed. I'm just looking at the viewfinder. Sorry. So I, toning shampoo. I've been using this fudge shampoo, violet toning shampoo. My cousin like raised about this, so I bought it and I can see why. I literally just put it on, I did two shampoos. So I'd use just a regular one that I've got and then I will use this one on top. So I leave this in, just like leave it in, wash my body, wash it out, conditioner in. I don't use a purple shampoo, um, purple conditioner though, I just use the shampoo. This is just an argan oil, like a Moroccan oil. I don't know the difference. I used to love Moroccan when I was blonde. I just got an argan. That lighting, that looks good. I need to film around this time of the day. Um, so I've been using this make, used it morning and night religiously, even if I didn't wash it. And I think that sort of helped it. I sort of backed off a bit on it now, but I think I need to get back into it just for the ends. And what I love about this, I've been using this every day and I suffer with really oily hair. Well, I did when I was darker and it's not so oiling now. I don't know why, but when I hear the word oil, I'm like, Ugh, I have oily skin and I have an oily scalp. So it was just, but anyway, I knew I needed it. So I got this and I quite like it. I'll repurchase this again. Skincare. Okay. So I suffer with oily skin. As you probably know, I say it a million times, oily skin. I've got this Origins Zero Oil Moisturizer. Now I use this, it says to use AM and PM. AM and PM, I use it AM. I have found my face doesn't go so oily throughout the day using this. Now I got this from Mecca, I think it was $39. It's a bit expensive for a moisturizer, but I bought this two months ago. And there's still heaps in there and you only need a little bit. So now on to makeup, yay. Fun stuff. Oh, I have brushes to go through as well. Alrighty. I love my Gerard Cosmetics in Grace. I wait till you see the pigmentation of this. Now I was like, this packaging is so chic. Like, mm, I love it. So it opens up and it's got a little protective film on it. Like, so I don't know if you can remove it or not, but oh, I'm not gonna try. But I love it. So once again, it looks sort of like the Rimmel one. But if I swatch it, oh, you probably can't tell. That's it there. Now it doesn't look like that on your face. It's so weird. Um, let me see if I can show you. So I'm gonna look into the viewfinder. I'm sorry, I don't have a mirror in front of me. Um, okay. So you can see that. I don't know if there's much of a. Well, <laughs> yeah, I just put that on top of it. Now this is amazing. I'm gonna be highlight. Oh, I got it both sides. Why not? Bam. Oh, that's going to be nice. So that's the Gerard Cosmetics highlighter. I like it. My other highlighter I love is the Balm. It's Mary Lou. Everyone loves it on YouTube. See, they all swatch the same. That's so funny. I swatched that next to the Gerard Cosmetics one. There. So it's more champagne-y. That one. I love that. And I love it that Target sells it. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to get the Balm. I would be able to get some... Ugh from Sephora Australia, but it's always sold out. So I'm so thankful Target still it, and I got it, but I got it from David Jones. <laughs> Two other balm products I love is the Hot Mama Blush. Oh, I wear this every day to work. I love it. It's just so glowy. I just, I've got it on my cheeks. I mixed it in with, oh, look at that highlighter. I mixed it in with one that I 
one of my Rimmel ones today, but I just popped this on top just before I filmed. And I'm like, ah, I love this. So I love the Hot Mama. <sighs> it's just beautiful. And I've been loving the Baham Mama as well for a contour slash bronze. That's what it looks like here. I love the Balm packaging. Like, makeup just gets me by packaging. I'm like, oh, it just looks so cute. I need it. So that one there. I like, I like, blah, blah, blah. I like this because it's a gray tone, not an orangey tone. I don't know. Some people be like, no, it's got orange. And I'm like, for me, it's gray tone for my skin. I love it. I just, I like the ugh, gray tone. So that's that one. My other favorite is Rimmel, the Stay Matte Powder. I love it. It's such a good setting powder. I've actually broken the lid, so it doesn't actually lock anymore. It just hangs on by like a thread. So I have to keep, I dropped it just before I picked it up as well. I was like, oh, I hope it didn't shatter, but it did. So I love this. It's just a Stay Matte Press Powder. I just get it in transparent. I don't look for the extra coverage when I'm setting my face, except for my Astralis, obviously, but I like that. I like it so much. I've got two others spare ones. Rimmel again, the Stay Matte Primer. What I like about it, it says use alone. I would not use this alone. I just keep reaching for it every day before I go to work. So I'm like, oh, I must be liking it. Let's go see that chat. I must be liking it. So yeah, that's one. Oh, if you guys don't watch my videos, you won't know how much I love this CoverGirl mascara, the Super Sizer. I love it. What I love about it, I love, that I love. I love the brush. It's very different. I don't know if it's focusing. It sort of goes out into a triangle. I don't know if it's the formula, the brush, but it makes me look like I'm wearing falsies, even though I'm not. I'm like, I like this. CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Foundation. I just got this because I saw Lauren Curtis using it. I was like, oh, and Shenix. So, and I was like, oh, I'll give it a shot. Rah, rah, rah. I've seen a couple of YouTubers going on about it. <sighs> now I know why they go on about it. It is beautiful. It's yellow base, if that makes any sense. Like, because it's hard to find a yellow base foundation, especially when you're not as tanned as what I am. <laughs> when I'm pale. <laughs> it's hard to find because most of them are pink base. So I like this one. My Chi Chi Brow Pomade in Tor. Now, I have the Anastasia Brow Pomade and I only used it about twice. I keep reaching for the Chi Chi one. And Chi Chi is so affordable. And I'm like, oh, I love this pomade. So I love my Anastasia, but I'm like, I spent so much money on it and I need to use it. But I just love my Chi Chi one. So I've got to alternate between the two. My Morphe palette. This is the 35K. I love this as an everyday... <clears throat> eyeshadow palette look at that like it's a perfect nude perfect cool tone palette you can tell which one I dip into a lot the champagne one obviously but these colors are so pigmented I the only thing that really sort of with Morphe I'm like I don't smell that great but I don't know what not, I, I smell stuff if you've been watching me or know me I smell stuff but anyway I love this I got this off Beauty Bay and I think it was $30 for all of these eyeshadows. Let's speed this video up with my makeup brushes that I love. I've been loving my e.l.f. blush brush, which is a blush brush, but I don't use it for that. I use it to set my under eye concealer and my eye when I prime my eyelids with a powder. I don't know. I just love this brush. It's so fluffy and it, I don't know if it's the shape. I wouldn't use it as a blush brush because I don't like them, these sorts. But yeah, I just... I think it was nine dollars like cheap as for that I you can get it from Kmart or even iHerb let's do a Morphe brush because that's the only one I've got in here is the 510 I use this for highlighting I just used it with the dry cosmetics ding ding now it smells a bit funny look at that oh it doesn't anymore because I cleaned it quite well but I love this for highlighting I don't know what it is with Morphe brushes I don't know what it is it's so beautiful I got this off Beauty Bay as well so that's a 510. My Jessa, now this doesn't actually have a brush number or what it is. I'm, it's a mini powder brush, powder brush, but I use it as a blush brush. These are the brushes I love for blush. I, I don't know why, I just really struggle with the angled one. I'm like, I just don't have this for a blush. I just don't get it. I like poof, like pop them cheeks. I just love these ones, so. I'm really bummed about that Chi Chi one. I've been using it, but I just don't like it. So these are this is my favorite blush brush. So I always reach for it. Now 
Chi Chi brushes. There's four here that I absolutely love. This powder brush is to die for. Like the softness. I nearly need to wash these brushes. They're so dirty. But oh, they're just so. I, 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 there's not much more I can say about the Chi Chi brushes unless you've got them or tried them. Then you know what I'm talking about. If you don't, I'm sorry. But it's just think of the softest brush you've ever felt putting powder on. It's just gliding on my skin right now. I'm thinking of that. Let's move away from that because that just got weird. The small stippling brush from Chi Chi. It's so dirty. I need to wash them. I use this to do my under eye concealer just to spread it out. Um, it's weird because I never thought I'd use a brush like this for under eye concealer, but I love stippling brushes, which is weird because I never use them for foundation. Like I've got a few behind, a few. I have some behind me, like this Real Techniques one. I used to love this for my makeup until I got my multitask one from from Real Techniques. But now I just use a, that one and not my stippling brush, which is weird. So I love this for my under eye concealer. And two eye brushes from Chi Chi is the pencil in a corner one. Just, oh, so nice. I never really had one, so I suppose any pencil brush would work, but I just like the Chi Chi one because that's the only one I really have. And the flat eyeshadow brush. It needs cleaning. It's still got blue on it from my previous <laughs> tutorial. But this is just amazing. Like, I don't know if it's the brush or the products, but it's picking it up so well. And it, I haven't got the MAC, is it the 142 or 242 or whatever, the flat eyeshadow brush that everyone uses. I don't have that to compare it, but I just love it because it's so stiff. Like you can just pack it on and it's not fluffy. It's just stiff. Yes. That is it. This is going to be one hell of a long video. I am so sorry if you stuck around to the end. Yay, high five to you. If you haven't, well, I don't blame you because I just rambled on about so much stuff. If you understood any of this video, yay. But I'm going to finish it here because I will keep rambling. I will keep rambling. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Like, I'm going to edit that out probably. <laughs>